How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be doing a very, extremely complicated cover-up. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Today's a good day. I'm on my way to my consultation. I am excited. I'm gonna be doing a really dope concept. It's a native skull. I can't believe I forgot to mention that I'm doing an extremely hard cover-up. Very intimidating. And by the way, this is my morning routine. Yo le echo muchas ganas, pero nada me sale bien. I'm from uh, like Palm Springs area, California. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Southern you California. Drove or flew I flew in. in. Oh, I flew in. I didn't want to do minutes. the fire hour drive. Exactly, mm. bro. The only concern that I had was that my client's tattoo was going to look way darker in person. Luckily, I can work with it. When was it? Like, did your homie did it? You know what? I cut, well, the town I came from, or live in, it's a small town. So, like, a, a, a tattoo shop would just pop up mm. randomly. And being 18 years old, I'm like, this is when tattoos, you, we didn't have Instagram, we didn't have all that. So you walked in and you seen like flash on the wall or, or you went through a little portfolio and you're like, I didn't have really images to choose from. So I'm like, oh, I want that. And sure enough, you know what I mean? I come out, I'm like, damn, I didn't want that. Such a great consultation, but nothing could have prepared me for what I was about to hear next. How did you find Kevin? What was it, someone like a friend? You to be honest, bro, to be the completely honest, I was in prison mm -hmm. and I was using my buddy's phone. And what? we were talking about tattoos and I started to start putting YouTube like cover up tattoos because I always wanted to get these covered up. Uh -huh. And I came across your page, bro. Oh, oh my God. Where? Damn, this is the dude I would love to fucking have <laughs> cover up my leg. That is probably the best story I've ever heard of my life. Yeah, right? bro. It's the How truth. I'm not going to lie. I was feeling a little bit special that day. Cool. I'm excited. Wow. Tattooing darker skin complexion can increase the difficulty of a cover-up. The concept is everything, so there are some ideas that are not recommended. Make sure to communicate that with your client. That way both of you are on the same page and you are going to be able to do a successful cover-up and your client is going to be happy. Besides that I woke up to my puppy trying to suffocate my wife with a pillow, I was really looking forward to this cover-up. I had the perfect concept to do a dope cover-up. Wow, oh, clouds. That looks magical, my dude. I better see Pegasus come through that. The amount of texture. <clears throat> God damn. Um. The bottom part of this stencil, I did it by hand. And the top, I actually used this app called Stencil App. Just because I wanted to... Test it out. It doesn't look too bad. I feel like I can work with this. Spoiler alert. I <laughs> I hated it. Man, I haven't got tattooed in about eight years, so I'm a little nervous, especially when you hear the two day. I come from a Native American background. My mother's Native American. I'm from, I'm a member of the Southern California Morongo tribe. So I just wanted to go something like a Native American theme. My client walking up to my booth with confidence, got comfortable with the camera. But this handshake right here is not just a handshake. This handshake means I got you. I will take care of you and give you a tattoo that will not make you feel embarrassed to show it off. I will make you want to wear shorts in winter. Right, let me get a few pictures of your tattoo. Souvenir. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I cringe sometimes looking at yeah. <laughs> uh, pictures with tattoo showing yeah i i mean i i do have one on that same placement too and i don't like it so you won't feel too lonely <laughs> look at this you don't even know what it says no no i can't read graffiti no all right here you go let's place this on placing a stencil on a calf area can get really tricky especially because of how round it is so the only thing i wanted was for the shape of the skull to not look weird mm, 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 mm. Mmm, what are you working on? Mmm, look at that, look at that baby head. <laughs> look at that. What is, what is that? <laughs> what is that? I don't know. <laughs> the best way that I can think of to start this cover up is by doing the background first and anything that has solid black. By doing this, it will let me know how bright I can really make the skull look. Oh, 
I didn't really record the way I did the chin area because I was very concentrated and I needed to find the sequence on how I was going to execute the whole cover up so this area was key to help me figure it out. My client got this tattoo years ago so the ink is very weak so because of that the sequence that I'm gonna be using to successfully cover this up is by applying my solid black first and do as much texture as I can before it looks too dark and in between the texture I'm gonna be applying my medium grays and my light grays I'm taking my time to make sure that I don't compromise my contrast and my highlights because if I do the skull is gonna look really flat Behind the scenes, anyone's at home trying to learn how to make an airplane. <laughs> Ready? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something's wrong with my airplane right now. I don't know what it is. I probably stick to tattooing. They gotta be more Aero, sharp. Aerodynamic. Yeah, like this. Alex, catch it. Ready? <laughs> I think we got like another hour and a half and we're done for today. Really? A good little, I just want to finish the school today. Okay. Focus on that. How do you feel? Great day, man. Good energy. Awesome vibes. Good conversation. Watching, watching Mr. Reyes do what he does. Doing just the skull on day one gives me room to breathe and slow down. And that way on day two I can come in with a fresh mind. I won't get frustrated and I will definitely take my time on the little details of the headdress. It looks fake. <laughs> man, I'm in love with it, man. I'm happy, happy, happy as fuck. I just, it just, it's just bright as hell. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you. I need some fruit snacks, I deserve them. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, I woke up a little tired today. Ooh, my eyes look a little swollen. But the reason I'm recording it is because yesterday I noticed that the stencil was looking a little too complicated. So I asked my client to wash it off because today I'm gonna replace that stencil. Before he left, I'm, I was looking at that stencil and I'm like, there's no way I'm doing that. Like, I can't see anything. So I came in today and I just uh, re-stenciled it. Boom. Look at that. Just nice and clean. Just just what I need. Nothing else. Love it. I love it. How'd you sleep last night? You know, I crashed out right when I got back to the hotel. <laughs> I figured. For like two hours, bro. <laughs> Then I woke up like with the second win, I was up to like 12, 1230. I was like, dude, I need to get to bed. Redoing my stencil was the best thing that I could have done. Using Ghost Line or Stencil Lab do not help me in any way. But that doesn't mean that they are not good because I've seen amazing artists successfully use them. Mm. <laughs> that is insane. He landed exactly where the other stencil was at. On this area, I did the scribble technique to mimic the texture of the headdress. And on the middle of the texture, I'm applying my medium gray to finish the bottom part of the headdress before moving on to the feathers. I love the stencil. I did it easy to read and it's helping me move faster and more efficient. The cartridge that I've been using to execute the headdress is a 7 round liner with a voltage of a 5.0. This way I can take my time without irritating the skin. Notice how I did not wipe. The reason why it is because the bottom part of the tattoo is super sore from the previous day. So to avoid causing my client more pain, I either dab the skin or wipe side to side or up. Around the knee area, unfortunately, I couldn't record because the skin was starting to get swollen and I couldn't waste time otherwise there was a possibility that I would have to call it a day before finishing and I was not about to send my client home with an unfinished tattoo. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. 
honestly this cover up turned out super amazing i'm just amazed on how bright it is considering that it was done on a darker skin complexion so honestly i'm just i'm just really happy with it i like the outcome so if you're a tattoo artist i hope you learned something from this video and if you're a tattoo enthusiast i hope you were entertained thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next video peace